Torah Garden, speaking the absolute truth. Torah Nation. Zion, only a few of us is going to make it out. Shalom, shalom, shalom. Yasharal, Yahuda. Grafted in Gentiles into the body of Hamashiach. When are my people going to learn? It's time for you to return, Yasharal and Yahuda. Don't do what your forefathers did. Don't sin in the same manner as your forefathers did. Yahuwah, I thank you in the name of Yahushua Hamashiach for Yahushua Hamashiach's witness. Yahuwah, I give you praise for your Ruach HaKadosh. Yahuwah, I pray right now in the name of Yusha Hamashiach that you would take the reins of my lips and the reins of my tongue and reins. Yahuwah, that you would reign over what I say. I submit to you in righteousness. I sit, submit to you having received the witness of Yahusha Hamashiach, the word that you gave to Yahusha, that he gave to Yahukanan, that he recorded, I have received with Imunah and received the witness of Yahusha Hamashiach, the word made flesh, your Torah. Yahuwah, only a remnant. I pray that the word will go out to those that you have chosen. I pray that your word will go to those who you've chosen, that you would verify in them with signs and wonders, having received the Ruach HaKadosh and have walked in the witness of Yahushua Hamashiach, that they would, would experience the witness. Yahuwah, I pray that I would not cause any to stumble anyone to be turned out of the way that anyone wouldn't come up lame but that the Ruach HaKadosh of truth would minister Yahuwah let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight Yahuwah you know me you declare my word you declare my truth Yes. Those who have an ear to hear will hear. Yahuwah, in the name of Yusha Mashiach, I give you praise. In the name of Yahusha Mashiach. Listen. Only a remnant is the title of the song. We know the author is Hezekiah. I don't own the rights to this music. When you gonna learn? When you gonna learn? When you gonna when you when you gonna receive the witness? Gonna burn. Gonna burn. You gonna burn, you gonna burn, you gonna burn, you gonna burn. You gonna burn, you gonna burn. If you do not receive the witness, the Ruach Akadesh, you gonna burn. I have a mandate by Yahuwah to preach this Basura this witness of Yahushua Hamashiach and the receiving of the Ruach HaKadosh. I don't have an option. 
I mean, I, I do have an option because he gives me a free will, but in that free will, there's no life, so there's no option. I have to do what he tells me to do in order to receive his life, right? I can't do what I want to do, right? I have to do what he commands me to do. And you know what? Even in his commandments, there's joy because I get pleasure when I give out the word of you. I, 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 I'm, I'm happy about preaching the Basura and the Torah of truth. Listen, I don't, I don't, I don't sit here doing it grudgingly, right? I don't do it for, for likes. I don't do it for friends. Uh, I do it because that's what Yahuwah calls me to do. And see, Yahuwah has a remnant that he has that's going to receive this Basura, this Torah, this witness of Yahushua Mashiach. Yahushua is revealing to me that there are people that are being quickened, that are people that are recognized, that are people that are understanding this witness is crucial. Yahuwah has had me in the letter of in the uh, book of Hebrews. Right? The book of Hebrews. It deals with Paul's letter to the Hebrew converts who had, who had accepted Yahushua HaMashiach and that had believed in the places that were amongst the Gentiles. Paul always went into the synagogues. Wherever he went, where there was one that he may minister to the Yahudim in those areas, right? Because Shaul loved his brothers. He loved the brother. He was devoted and, and committed to Yahudim first and to the, the Gentiles, excuse me. He recognized the witness. He recognized that Yahushua Hamashiach was the way, the truth and the life. He recognized <coughs> in the original, the original covenant where Yahushua was. And he was able to take those witnesses who who Alua used to at sundry times and in diverse manners spake unto our fathers by the prophets. Yahuwah demonstrated, pointed to Yahushua Hamashiach and the prophets. And if the truth be told, you're not going to completely understand it unless you receive the Ruach HaKadosh. You, you, you're not going to be able to understand it. You're going to be all over the place. You're going to be, you're going to be moved about by diverse winds of doctrine. You're going to go from everything to anything because you don't have your Ruach HaKadosh. It's not like what you've seen in the Christian church. This is not that. The Ruach HaKadosh is a gift from Yahuwah Lua. It's not a fabrication of what you've seen in the Christian church. It's not a fabrication of what you've seen at the hands of these denominations. It's not a fabrication. You must receive the witness of Yahushua Mashiach. You must be born again. You must be born of the water and of the Ruach HaKadosh. And even in that, you have to remain, continue and dwell in him, lest you let these things slip. Paul knew, right? He says, have it in these last days spoken unto us by Yahushua Mashiach. Whom he have the appointed heir over all things, by whom he had made the world.
Hebrews. You are not going to make it without being born again. You're not going to make it without the Ruach HaKadosh, the water, and the blood. And you ain't going to even understand it until you receive the Ruach HaKadosh, because you have to take it in Imuna. But once you receive this Ruach HaKadosh, it's going to be just like you just said. It's going to lead you and guide you into all truth. That's how you can tell people who have a Ruach HaKadosh and people who don't. People who don't have the Ruach HaKadosh is all over the place. They're all over the place. they moved about by diverse winds and doctrine. Just all over the place. Following this teaching. Following that teaching. Following this teaching. Following that teaching. All over the place. Some of y'all just don't know how to submit. Right? Some of you just want to be leaders and teachers. Some of you just want to just be leaders and teachers. But if you don't you have the Ruach HaKadosh, you can't teach me nothing. You really can't teach anybody nothing. And then what you have to understand is we who have the Ruach HaKadosh, we have to give the more earnest, oh, most earnest heed. We got to take care of and pray that Yahuwah would intervene in us if we divert from the Ruach HaKadosh and teaching. And then if we know we said something wrong, we have to have the, the courage to repent and say, listen, I said something that was not right. He's spoken to our fathers by the prophets in these last days have spoken unto us by his son Yahushua Mashiach. See, and I know Yahuwah Yahu does all things well. He does everything well. He does everything well. Listen, you know, we as a people, man, we'll, we'll swing on any and everything. Right? Listen, that's why there's only going to be a remnant because there's only going to be a few people that's going to receive the witness of Yahushua Mashiach and be born again. Oh, well, you know, we don't believe in Yahushua. You know, we hold to the Torah. What? Yahushua's in the volume of the book. Yahushua said, when he was forming the heavens and the earth, he said, he said, let us make, he was, when he was forming man, he said, let us make man. He made him in his image. He said, he made him in their image after their likeness. Yahushua. The Ruach HaKadosh. Come on. I don't, I, listen. Listen, if you don't, if you don't understand this, I'm going to tell you why. Even him whose coming is at the working of Satan, Second, Third, Second Thessalonians two and nine, right? Whose working is coming is whose coming is after the working of Hasa time, with all power and signs and lying wonders, right? Right? And with the deceiv this this deceivable of unrighteousness. In them that perish, because they receive not the witness. They receive not the Ruach HaKadosh. They receive not the word of Yahuwah and Yahushua. That they might be saved, that they might have Yeshua. For this cause, Alua shall send strong delusions that you should believe a lie that they might be damned who believe not the truth but have pleasure in unrighteousness and unrighteousness is your own righteousness 
apart from the Torah of righteousness, the truth of righteousness. You can't keep Torah. You are not going to be able to keep Torah. Excuse me. You're not. You have to have the Ruach HaKadosh in order to keep Torah. You're going to have to have the Ruach HaKadosh in order to do what Yahuwah has called you to do. Right? And listen, Yahuwah ain't talking to you unless, you unless you've received the witness of his son. Listen, Yahuwah ain't talking to you. Not like that. No. No, you got an emissary for Hasatan. Because Yahuwah is speaking to those who he has chosen by the Ruach HaKadosh who have received the witness of Yahushua Mashiach. Yeah, that's who he's speaking to. That's who he's leading. Everybody else he's speaking to. Got to have the Ruach HaKadosh. You have to have the Ruach HaKadosh, man of Yah, woman of Yah. You have to have the Ruach HaKadosh. This is to my people, Yasharon and Yehuda. For my people. There's nothing new under the sun. The same things that entrapped your forefathers are going to entrap you. Same thing that entrapped your forefather is going to entrap you. Yahuwah is going to send a strong delusion. You're going to believe it. Gonna believe it. There's nothing wrong with any of the books. Nothing. Nothing. But you have to ruachally discern them. You have to have the ruach. I could just see you who should knew what was necessary. You, you who knew it was what was necessary. Listen, you can't, you, you can't even offer sacrifices. How you going to be Torah only? How you going to compensate for the need of a sacrifice? You can't do it. How you going to satisfy the blood offering? That they all might be damned who believe not the truth. Yahushua says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. You got to believe the truth. The truth is the Torah made flesh. Yahushua, that's the truth. Hebrews. Got to give the more earnest lead. You have to give them more earnest heed. Listen, bruise. Those you who have received the witness of Yahushua Hamashiach, listen. Don't you spend time listening to people who are gonna try to tell you it's in the Torah only. Don't you even get into don't don't you even get caught up in listening to them and talking to them and engaging them. Right? Don't don't do it. You you know that you're established in the witness of Yahushua Hamashiach. You know you established in the Torah of truth. That's what you take heed to, right? Because I'm a listen, listen, listen. These, there's only a remnant. Right? There's no method to reestablish them as a people. They can't make sacrifices. They don't even know what Levi is. I mean, it, it just doesn't make any natural sense, let alone Ruachal sense. Ruachal is clearly understood because you have the Ruach HaKadosh, and that's what it does. It leads you and guides you into all truth, and that's why you said, look, you got you to gotta receive this. You got to receive this witness because it's going to lead you and guide you into all truth. Right, right. You ain't gonna, you, you ain't gonna be led in truth. You gonna be, you gonna, you gonna be caring about about different winds of doctrine. We gotta see the witness of Yahushua Mashiach. We gotta give the most earnest heed to the things which we have heard, lest at any time we let them slip, let them get away from us. You won't let it get away from you. you can't let it get away from you. you. Can't let the Basor and the Torah of Truth and the witness of Yahushua Mashiach and the Ruach Hakadosh get away from you. You can't. 
right? See, now, I'm forever in his hands because I have no desire to be plucked out. No desire whatsoever to be plucked out, right? But you who, 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 who are tantalized by different things, right? They cause you to be pulled away. Yeah, listen, you can slip. Because if the, if the word spoken by angels was steadfast and every transgress, transgression and disobedience received justice, a justice, a wage, a worthy wage, how will you escape? If you neglect the witnesses, Ezekiel witnessed to him. Right? Ezekiel witnessed to him. Right? He said, I will sanctify my great name. I will sanctify my great name, which was profaned amongst the heathen. Which he has profaned in the midst of them. The heathen has profaned his name. They've gone into the four corners of the earth, reached with their tentacles, and established these erroneous doctrines and devils and but we did it first because we all caught up in the Torah only. Yahuwah said, I will sanctify my great name, which was profaned amongst the heathen, which you profaned in the midst of them. And the heathens shall know that I am Yahuwah. I am their Adonai Alua. When I, when I sanctify, when I sanctify, when I shall be sanctified in you before their eyes. Look, you, you, listen, let's look at it this way. You can't be sanctified in the Torah alone. Without the sacrifices. You're going to continue in sin. Right? Until you find a high priest. Right? Who can offer up a sacrifice for your sins. You ain't going to find one. You won't be sanctified. You won't be set apart. You ain't set apart being Hebrew only. You were set apart because of the, the circumcision of the flesh. You were set apart because you are a people. But that was fulfilled in Yahushua Hamashiach. Listen, half of the same, same sacrifice our kids. We ain't in the covenant. We ain't sanctify some of us. We, ain't, we, we, you have to have the witness of Yahushua Hamashiach. You have to have the witness of Yahushua Hamashiach. You have to have the witness of Yahushua Hamashiach. Yahukanan. The first chapter. No, you can on the third chapter, fifth verse. Yahushua said, except, verily, verily, I say unto you, except a man be born of the water and the Ruach HaKadosh, he cannot enter the kingdom of the Lua. Hebrew, you ain't you ain't getting in. You cling to Yah only all you want, but you ain't getting in. You you ain't getting in. You, you're not getting in. You're not getting into the kingdom of Yahuwah. It's it's not happening. You have to be born of the water and the spirit. Then you have to receive the witness. You have to receive the entire witness. You got to, 
You have to understand that the blood of Yahushua has, has atoned for you. You think Yahuwah is going to let you escape knowing that his son was atoned for for the world and you going you going you going tread on it? Treading on it. Right? You can't tread on on on, on Yahuwah Yahuwah and you definitely can't tread on the Ruach HaKadosh. You Ruach HaKadosh. Listen, you ain't ain't listen. Torah only people do not rightly divide the word of truth. Bam! I said it. It is impossible, right? For you to gather every ounce that Yahuwah has put in it that he has designed to be revealed, you ain't gonna get it. Because it's Ruachly discerned. You have to have the Ruach HaKadosh. Listen, you're just going to repeat the sins of your fathers. You're going you're gonna, to you're gonna, you're gonna continue to repeat the sins of your father. He says, Yehusha says, except you be born of the water and the Ruach, you cannot enter the kingdom of Elul. You ain't going in. Which is born of the flesh is flesh. That which is born of the Ruach HaKadosh is Ruach HaKadosh. Ruach. See, Yahuwah and Yahushua has to be in you. And the Ruach HaKadosh, they have to be in you. Yahushua has said himself, me and my father will come and live with you. Come in you. And we will dwell in you. Yeah, we will. We will. We will. He said, listen, in John 14, 16, and I will pray the Father, and he shall give you another comforter, right? That shall abide with you forever. I will I will pray the Father, and he will give you the Ruach HaKadosh, that he may abide with you forever. Because you're going to need the Ruach HaKadosh in order to receive eternal life. When well, Yahushua told Nicodemus, Even the Ruach HaKadosh of Truth, you ain't going to even be able to rightly divide anything. Because the Ruach HaKadosh of Truth is what you need in order to be successful in what the word of Yahuwah has to say. If you have not received the Ruach HaKadosh, you can't teach me nothing. If you have not received the Ruach HaKadosh, I don't want to hear nothing you say. Because you don't have the spirit of truth. teach somebody you ain't got the Ruach HaKadosh. You're going to teach somebody you don't even have Torah. All you got is Torah. Yeah, all you got Torah. All you saying is Torah. Hebrew. Listen. I tell you. You better hear the word of Yahuwah. You, you better hear the word of Yahuwah. You better hear the word of Yahuwah. See, uh, you know, he, he's he got me because I'm crazy enough to tell you. I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you full of hell. I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you. You, 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 you. you don't have the witness. No, 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 no. And Yahuwah ain't, Yahuwah ain't speaking to you. No. Yahuwah don't speak to you without the Ruach HaKadosh. Yahuwah does not speak to those who don't have his Ruach HaKadosh. Yahuwah chose men in the original covenant to put his Ruach HaKadosh in because of them being who they were. He selected them. He spoke with them. Through the Malachim, angels. He spoke to them at times. Through the Malachim, right? You. He ain't speaking to nobody like that. He's speaking by the prophets, right? But you have to have the Ruach HaKadosh to even know that. Listen, your forefathers at the time Yehusha Mashiach was around, they didn't, they didn't understand it. Because they was persecuting Yehusha Mashiach. They didn't understand that Yehusha was away. Only those that Yahuwah had chosen 
to receive the witness. Just like he did in the original covenant. He put his Ruach on certain men. Listen, Hebrew, it's only remnant. It's only remnant. It's only a remnant. It's only a remnant. Only a remnant. Only, only a remnant, right? Only a remnant. He says, he says, even the Ruach of a proof, whom the world cannot receive because it seeth him not, neither knoweth him. Don't see him. You, you look, look. Torah only people don't see, don't, don't see the Ruach of Kadesh. Torah people don't, Torah only people do not see. They do not have experience or connection to Yahuwah. And the Ruach HaKadosh, they just don't. The Ruach HaKadosh is the spirit of truth. You got to receive the witness of Yushua Mashiach. I will not leave you comfortless. I will come to you. Yet a little while, and the world see me no more. But ye see me, because I live, ye shall live also. The world ain't going to see me, but you're going to see me. Right? He says, at that day ye shall... At that day, ye shall know that I am in Abba, and ye are in me, and I in you. Right? He that haveth my commandments and keep them, he it is that loves me, and he that loveth me shall be loved of my Father. Right? Now, listen, right? So, in Yahushua Hamashiach, you have to keep the commandments through the Ruach HaKadosh. You, you have to have the rule. Right, let's just keep the commandments. Yahusha, Yahuwah, by the prophet Ezekiel. I will put my rule right, on desk within you. And cause you to walk in my statutes. Cause you to walk in in my statutes because of the Ruach HaKadosh. Put my Ruach HaKadosh in you. And the Ruach HaKadosh is going to cause you, give you the capacity to walk in the commandments. It's going to lead you and guide you into our truth. It's going to validate everything that I've said. The Ruach HaKadosh. He says, I will put my Ruach HaKadosh within you. When are you going to do that? At the time that he's sanctifying us among the heathens, among the, among the nations, sanctifying us, setting us apart in the Ruach HaKadosh in the midst of the other nations. And they shall keep my judgments and do them. They're going to keep them. They're going to do them. Because they can. Because they can. He that hath my commandments and keepeth them is he. He it is that loveth me. And he that loveth me shall be loved of my father. Right? And I will love him and will manifest myself to him. You know, Hebrews. The only way the only way for you to make it in to his kingdom is the weakness. It doesn't matter how awakened you are. It doesn't matter how much you want to return back to the land. You got to receive the witness and you got to receive the quickening that gathers. You can go back to the land. You can go back, right? 
having been awakened. But it's in the Ruach HaKadosh, it's the quickening and being born again that's going to establish you in his kingdom. That's what's going to gather you. Doesn't matter where you are. I'm going to gather you from the four corners of the earth. In the Ruach HaKadosh, I can go anywhere and be gathered. But in the Ruach HaKadosh, because that's the seal. That's the eternal life. That's the eternal life. He says. In verse 23. And Yahushua answered and said unto the him. If I. If a man loves me. Right. Who is, if a man receives my witness. Right. He will keep my words. Right. And my father will love him and we will come unto him and make our abode in him. The three witnesses in the Shamayim making their abode tabernacling in you because you received the witness. The same Ruach HaKadosh, Abba Father, and Yahushua. That Yahuwah breathed and formed man in the original garden. Yahushua answered and said unto them, If a man loves me, he will keep my words. And my father will love him and we will come unto him and make our abode in him. Let's go to Hebrews. Hebrews, the third chapter. Right? We left off at the 12th verse. Right? But the beginning bears again. Right. Cause you know, you always shows me how this looks. He does. He physically shows me how this looks. He manifests this physically before me. I mean, I, I witnessed this, right? He says, Wherefore, holy brethren, partakers of the heavenly calling, consider the apostle, the high priest of our profession, Yahushua Hamashi. Listen, consider now the high priest, Yahushua Hamashiach, right? The high priest after the order of Melchizedek, Yahushua Hamashiach, of whom, right, you must receive his witness. Who was faithful to him, Alua, as also Moses was faithful in all his house. Right? So, excuse me. So, Yahushua was faithful. Because all Yahushua knew was faithfulness. Right? Moshe was faithful. Right? In his house. Right? For this man was counted worthy of more glory than Moshe. Yahushua. Right? And he explains... Why Yahushua is more glory than Moshe, than the Torah, than the commandments. For this man was counted more counted worthy of more glory than Moshe, inasmuch as he who built the house has more honor than the house. Yahuwah established in Moshe the Torah. Yahushua Hamashiach was the Torah. He was the master builder. Yahushua is 
what the engineer is, right? What the contractor is, right? To the house. Right? Because Yahusha has established this all. Right? Torah made flesh. Yahusha has established this in the Ruach HaKadosh. He's established this. Right? Before Moshe was. Before Yisak, before Yakob, before Avraham. Yahushua was before anything was with the Father and the Ruach HaKadosh. Established everything. The order of things. Yahushua. Kamashia. He's greater than the house. He made the house. Yahushua Hamashiach and the Father and the Ruach HaKadosh together, these three agree in the Shamaim, right? Can destroy it all and make it all over again. He's greater than the house. More honor than the house. No matter how elaborate the house ends up. It was the engineer. It was the contract that built the house. For every house is built by some man, but... He that buildeth all things is a lure. A house is always built by someone. Right? But he who has everything, everything that it takes to have the house built, every, every, everything that can be used to make the house, has everything to do with you. For he created it all. He says, eh, 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 and uh, Moses verily was faithful in all his house. Moses was faithful to the end, right? As a servant for a testimony of who those things which were spoken of after, right? Moses was faithful, but the people weren't. You would have told them, they're wicked. And not long after you, they're going to turn to idols they gonna turn to worshiping idols they gonna become wicked your fathers having received from Moshe your fathers Uh, let's see. Okay, 
Deuteronomy 31 and 14. And Yahuwah said unto Moshe, right? Behold, thy days approach that thou must die. She called jo uh, Yahusha, right? And present your and present yourself in the tabernacle of the congregation that I may give him a charge. And Moshe and Yahushua went and presented themselves uh, in the tabernacle of the congregation. Uh, let me see, let me see, let me see. Uh, let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see. Um, and, and, and Yahuwah said unto Moshe, Behold, thou shalt sleep with thy fathers, and this people, here we go. Your fathers, Torah only, priests and Levites, order of sacrifices, And Yahuwah said unto Moshe, Behold, thou shalt sleep with thy fathers, and this people will rise up and go a whoring. After the gods of these strangers of the land. And Yahuwah said unto Moshe, Behold, thou shalt sleep with thy fathers, and this people will rise up and go a whoring after the elves of the strangers of the land, whither they go to be among them, and they will forsake me and break my covenant which I made with them. And my... And my anger shall be kindled against them in that day. And I will forsake them. I will hide my face from them. And they shall be devoured. And many evils and troubles shall befall them. So that they will say in that day. Are not these evils come upon us. Because our Lua is not among us. And I will surely hide my face in those days of the all the evils which thou hast wrought. And in that they, sh they are turned to other elves. And you know, right? Paul was, te Paul was teaching the Hebrew Christians. Or <sighs> I break the power of those words in the name of Yushamashiach. Paul was teaching the Hebrew uh, um, witnesses, those who were established in Hamashiach, right? How they, how their forefathers have left record. You got to remember what they went through. You got to remember what they did. You got to remember it was a perpetual thing. They were incapable of doing what they needed to do because they did not have his Ruach in them. You who knew what they was going to do. He said he's going to hide his face. He's going to hide his face from them. He's going to hide his face from them. Hebrews. For Moshe verily was faithful in all his house as a servant. Moshe's house. Right? For a testimony of those things which were spoken after. Right? But Hamashiach, the son of Alua, over his own house. Everything. We are part of his house because we've received his witness. If we hold fast the confidence, if we hold fast confidence, if we hold fast the confidence, right? 
if we endure to the end in the face of 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 fiery fiery trials if we if we hold to it in spite of uh, um the 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 influences that that are in the nation is trying to pull us away from Hamashiach's witness. Moshe was faithful until the end. We have to be confident. We have to hold fast. And we have to rejoice and hope firm until the end. Firm until the end. Firm. Until the end, firm until the end. We have to hold fast our confidence, firm until the end. Firm until the end. He said, wherefore, the holy, the Ruach HaKadosh said it. The day that you hear my voice, harden not your heart as in the provocation and the days of temptation and the wilderness. See, the Ruach HaKadosh is, is speaking to you to receive the witness. The Ruach HaKadosh is speaking to you to receive the witness. The Ruach HaKadosh in me is speaking to you to receive the witness. Receive the witness, Hebrew. Receive the witness. Don't be like your fathers. You who knew how your father was going to be. In and out, in and out, in and out, in and out. Until the point where he got fi he got fed up. He says, Okay, I'm gonna send you Husha Mashiach, my son, who is going to testify and witness of me. Those who receive his witness shall receive Yeshua. They will be established in my kingdom. Because they've come by the water and the Ruach HaKadosh. I mean, y'all provoking you. Just, just provoking him. Provoking him. Just provoking him. Provoking you. You can't, you don't hear the whole, you don't, you don't, you don't hear the Ruach of Kadesh. You deny the Ruach HaKadosh. He said, harden not your heart, as in the provocation, in the days of the temptation in the wilderness. The provocation. He provoked your fathers in the wilderness. He provoked you. He said, harden not your heart in the provocation. Don't harden your heart. Because he's going to remove that stony heart and give you a heart of flesh in the witness of Yahushua and Mashiach. But you got to receive the witness in Imuna. He's going to replace that heart, stony, with a fleshly heart when you receive his witness in the Ruach HaKadosh. He says, Ezekiel 36 and 26, a new heart, a new heart also will I give you. Now, I'm referencing Ezekiel, most of these scriptures, but you can find similar in the, in the other prophets. A new heart will I give you, and a Ruach HaKadosh will I put in you. Put a new Ruach in you. Ruach HaKadosh. He said, I will take away the stony heart out, out of your flesh, and I will give you a heart of flesh. Right? I will put my Ruach HaKadosh within you. And you, it will cause and cause you to, and cause you, because I put my Ruach HaKadosh in you, and cause you to walk in my statutes, and you shall keep my judges and do them, because I put my Ruach HaKadosh in you. 
Right? Hey, don't get twisted up with these these this word spirit and and lowercase and uppercase and all that case stuff. The Ruach HaKadosh is going to lead you. That's the Ruach HaKadosh. There's no other spirit that he's given to you but the Ruach HaKadosh. The Ruach HaKadosh. He's going to give it to you in measure. That's how he's going to replace your heart. That's what he's saying in Hebrews. He says in Hebrews. He says, listen. He says, when your fathers tempted me and proved me and saw my work for 40 years. 40 years. Listen, I ain't got 40 years to be messing around without the Ruach HaKadosh. I, I don't have that kind of time. I don't have that kind of time. I don't have that kind of time. I'm not provoking you. No, 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 no. I'm walking in the witness of Yahushua Mashiach. I don't got time for that provocation stuff. I don't. I don't. I don't. You want to provoke Yahuwah and your Torah only and all of that? You go right ahead, right? But I'm telling you, Yahuwah is going to judge you. He's 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 going to judge you. He says, for your fathers tempted me, proved me, and saw my works for 40 years. Wherefore, I was grieved with that generation and said they do error in their hearts. Their heart is stony. They err in their hearts and they have not known my ways. They err in their hearts. Listen. We the people of Yahuwah. Of the all wise Alua. And we provoking them? Like our fathers did? In the wilderness. He says, wherefore I was grieved with that generation. And said, they do always error. That generation always error. But Yahuwah told, told Moshe, he says, and Yahuwah said unto Moshe, behold, thou shalt sleep, sheep, thou shalt sleep, Deuteronomy 31 and 16, with thy fathers and this people will rise up and go a whoring after other gods and strangers and strange lands, neither they go to be among them whither they go to be among them and will forsake me and will forsake me and will forsake me and will forsake me and break my covenant and break my covenant and break my covenant which I have made with them. It's going to happen. It's perpetual. Because we don't have his Ruach HaKadosh in us. Well, I do. But if you don't, you don't have his, your, his Ruach HaKadosh in you. Listen, you're going to do this. You're going to be carried about with all winds of doctrine. Then my anger shall be kindled against them in that day. And I will forsake them. And I will hide my face from them. And they shall be devoured. And many evils and troubles shall befall them. So that they will say in that day, are not these evils come upon us because our Lou is not among us? You know, this awakening is about being awakened to who we are. A people that was scattered to the four corners of the earth. Right? Transatlantic slave trade. We are the people of the Bible. We, we're the people of the Bible, right? People of the book. Right? We're the people. Right? It's Tyre Seifer. Right? Right now. Sevenfold doctrine of creation. The righteousness selected from a righteous plan. We are. Right? But what, is it, what does it matter if we ain't born again? What does it matter if we ain't quickened? If we, we're not made alive? What does it matter if we don't hold to those things which we have received and not allow them to slip? 
How can you go from the Ruach HaKadosh to Torah only? How? How can you go from the witness of Yahushua Hamashiach to Torah only? He said it was going to happen in Deuteronomy. And then Paul said it here in Hebrews, talking to the brother, sending letters to the brothers. He says, your father, way well, your fathers tempted me, proved me and saw my works for years. Wherefore I was grieved with that generation. He said they, they do always error always error see and you know what all they had to do was just obey it was just an act of obedience but they couldn't because they're nefesh in their soul and they're they're, they wasn't gonna do it they do it for a season you know then they go out then they have realized and cried to Yahuwah and then 40 years later, 40 was the number, 40, 30, I think. That's the number most of the time. They go in captivity, 40 years later, they come out, Yahuwah's delivering them. They have 40 years of peace and rest and then they have a generation come up chasing the elves again, you know what I'm saying? And they go back into captivity and get subdued by their enemies and you know, Yahuwah, they would turn and Yahuwah would like, okay, I, you know, you turn and I'll, I'll come and deliver you. Then it's the same process. It's wicked, 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 wicked people. He said they always there. Always there in their hearts. They error because they don't have the Ruach HaGadosh. They don't have Yahuwah on Yahusha in the Ruach that's on the inside of them. Because that's what's going to establish you. That's going to keep you in the truth. And you know what? When when the propensity to error arises, the Ruach is going to say, listen, don't do that. Don't do that. That's not going to benefit you. And as you, as you obey, each time you do, each time you obey, the stronger you become the more or less likely it is for you to yield. Because you, you being developed. You Ruach HaKadosh is going to lead you and guide you into our truth. He's going to say, no, don't do that. No, don't get tied up in that. Don't get involved in that. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. That you got to have the Ruach HaKadosh in order to hear that voice. Because you ain't hearing you. Because you ain't speaking like that. No. Yahuwah ain't speaking like he spoke to the prophets of old to you. All right. He says, so I swore in my wrath, they shall not enter into my rest. You ain't going to enter into the kingdom of Yahuwah. They didn't enter into the promised land. You ain't going in either. You ain't going in either. Yahushua answered and said unto him, John 3 and 5, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Except a man be born of the water and of the Ruach HaKadosh, he cannot enter the kingdom of Elul. You ain't going in either. Couldn't enter into his rest before. And listen, you know, everybody that died under Moshe, right? They still had to receive the witness of Yusha Mashiach. You had those that you, they knew that they were going to. Because you were told, excuse me. All right. But listen. They had to receive the witness. They had to receive the witness. Receive the witness, bring you out of receive. 
He, he said, except a man be born again, he cannot enter the kingdom of the Lord. It's got to be born of water and of the spirit. He said, for that which is born of the flesh is flesh. That which is born of the Ruach HaKadosh is Ruach HaKadosh. In Moshe, you are born of the flesh. In Moshe, you had the circumcision of the flesh. But in Yahushua Mashiach, you have life. You have the Ruach HaKadosh, truth. Hebrews, 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 Hebrews. He said, take heed, brother, unless there be any of you an evil heart of unbelief in departing from the living allure. Take heed. Take heed. When you decide to go with an evil heart of unbelief and departing from the living allure. It's an evil heart that doesn't believe in Yahushua Mashiach. Pharisees, the Sadducees, didn't believe in Yahushua Mashiach. Never those that are of the Yahudim at the time of Yahushua Mashiach that physically witnessed, physically witnessed. And didn't believe. This is, this is you who is pleading with you. In the Ruach HaKadosh. This is Yahushua pleading with you in the Ruach HaKadosh. But exhort one another daily while it is called today. Lest any of you be hardened through deceitfulness of sin. Be hardened through the deceitfulness of sin. For we are partakers, for we are made partakers of Hamashiach if we hold the beginning of our confidence steadfast unto the end. See, you got to hold to the witness of Yahushua Hamashiach. You have to endure this to the end. You got to have Emu Nah in the Besor and the Torah of Truth. You have to receive this witness. Hebrew. You got to hold fast to this. You can't get slipped up. You can't get tripped up, right? Because Paul is talking to the bruise that he had already dealt with, that had received the witness of Yusha Mashiach. So listen, don't get caught up. Don't get tripped up. You got to hold fast. For you have been made a partaker of Hamashiach. If we hold, hold, if we hold the beginning of our confidence steadfast until the end. If you don't keep Hamashiach to the end, you, you ain't going to make it. You ain't going to enter the kingdom of Shemami. While it is said today, if you hear my voice, harden not your heart as in the provocation. Listen, Hebrew. Hear the word of Yahuwah. Hear the word of Yahuwah. Do not harden your heart against Hamashiach and his witness. Do not provoke Yahuwah. Do not provoke Yahuwah. Do not provoke you who to judge you. Because he will judge you. 
for everyone you take and lead astray. You judge you. For some, when they had heard, did provoke. They heard the word. Howbeit, not all that came out of Mitzrayim by Moshe. Not all of them did, right? But with whom was he grieved forty years? Was it not with them that sinned, with whose carcasses fell in the wilderness? He's purging the rebels. These things must happen. Right? There must be a falling away. Yahudim. This is that hour. There's going to be a falling away. It's going to be a falling away. It's only a remnant that's going to be established. It's, it's going to be a falling away. But with whom was he grieved forty years? With was it not with them that had sinned whose carcasses fell in the wilderness? Ezekiel twenty and thirty three. As I live, saith Adonai Alua, surely with a mighty hand and with a stretched out arm. And with fury poured out, I ruled over you, Israel. I ruled over you. I will bring you out from among the, I'll bring you out from the people and I will gather you out of the country wherein ye are scattered with a mighty hand and with stretched out arm and with fury poured out. He's going to pour out fury on the nations. At the time he gathers us. But in order for him to do that, we have to have his witness. In order to see this kingdom, we have to receive his Ruach. You ever see the witness? He says, I will bring you into the wilderness of the people. And there will I plead with you face to face, the wilderness of the people, where you are scattered, where you at, right, wherever you are at, right. And I'm gonna plead with you face to face, Hebrew, you who is pleading with you right now, face to face. He ain't gonna come down and manifest his face to you. He's praying to you right now. In me, by the Ruach HaKadosh, the spirit of truth, right, that is in me, that causes me to declare this word to you. He is calling you. He's pleading with you now. He's pleading with you. He says, like as I played with your father in the wilderness of the land of Egypt. It's like, just like it was in the, in the land of Mitzrayim with your fathers. So is it with you in the lands of the people that you're in. Mitzrayim, right? But see, our captivity is over. We have received, we who have received the witness of Yahushua Mashiach have been made free from the law of sin and death, right? Yeah, we, 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 we ain't under a perpetual curse. Like as I pled with your fathers in the wilderness of the land of Mitzrayim, so will I plead with you, say, if I don't know you. I'm going to plead with 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 you. Listen, listen. Hear the word of you. Listen. Hear the word of you. Hear the word of you. He said, I will cause you to pass under the rod, and I will bring you into the bond of the covenant. How are you going to bring you to the bond of the covenant? Who said, let a man be born again, he should not see the kingdom of Elua. Unless a man is born of the water and of the spirit, Ruach HaKadosh, he shall not, he shall not see the kingdom of Elua. He's going to bring you under the rod 
and under the bond of the covenant. And I'm going to purge out the rebels, those who rebel against the witness. The rebellion is against the witness of Yahushua Mashiach, the Ruach HaKadosh. The rebellion is against the witness of Yahushua Mashiach. The rebellion is against the Ruach HaKadosh, the water and the blood. These three witnesses are one. That's what the rebellion is. When you rebel against the witness, you're in rebellion. And you're going to be purged. Rebels. And them that transgress against me. I will bring them forth out of the country that they sojourn and they shall not enter into the land of Yisrael. They ain't coming into the land. And you shall know that I am Yahuwah Lua. Hebrews. Take heed, brethren, lest there be an evil you, an evil heart of unbelief and departing from the living lure. But exhort one another daily while it is called today. Lest any of you be hardened through the deceitfulness of sin. Exhort us one another daily. Daily. In order to prevent you to be, in order for you to be prevented to become from coming, in order to pre, for it to be, in order for you to be prevented from becoming deceitful, deceitful, deceitful. For we are partakers of Hamashiach if we hold the beginning of our confidence, confidence steadfast unto the end. If you hold on to the witness of Yahushua Hamashiach and the Ruach HaKadosh and you endure until the end, listen, you are a part of the kingdom. While it is said today, if you hear my voice, harden not your heart is in the provocation, right? Harden not your heart is in the provocation, right? For some when they had heard, did provoke, howbeit not all that came out of Egypt by Moshe. Who always has a remnant? He has a remnant. And even the remnant, he knows that they're going to be disobedient. Acts 30, I mean, uh, Deuteronomy 31, 16. And Yahuwah said unto Moshe, Behold, thou shalt sleep with thy fathers, and this people will rise up and go a whoring after else. And of the strangers of the land, whether they go to be among them and will forsake me and break my covenant, which I have made with. But with whom was I grieved 40 years? Is it not with them that had sinned, whose carcasses fell in the wilderness? They sinned, and their carcasses fell in the wilderness. He's going to purge out the rebels in the wilderness, in the lands of the peoples that we have been scattered to. 
The falling away must come. Excuse me. Excuse me. The falling away must come. Those who remain in the witness of Yahushua Hamashiach are going to fight. Now, I'm not necessarily talking physical fight. I'm talking about you're going to have to fight the fight of faith. You're going to, have to, you're going to have to stay in it. You're going to have to cling to it. You're going to have to cleave to it. This witness. And, you know, again, I'm going to tell you, when you run into the people that are trying to teach you or tell you something other than what you know is right in the witness of Yahushua Hamashiach, tell them, no, thank you. I'm established in the witness. Oh, no, thank you. I'm established in the witness. Ruah HaKadash, I'm established. No, thank you. He says, But with whom was he grieved forty years? Was it not with them that had sinned, whose carcasses fell in the wilderness? He says, And to whom swear he that they should not enter into his rest? Shouldn't enter into his rest. She not enter into his rest. You shall not enter into the kingdom of Yahuwah Elul. You will not have eternal life. See, you gotta realize this was this is a test run. This is what a promise made to Avraham to establish his people, but this was a test run. This was Yahuwah establishing his guidelines for his kingdom, and he was putting them out there so we would know what they are. So when the fullness of time came, and when the kingdom was to be revealed in Hamashiach, right, the witness of Yahushua would come and live on the inside of us, and now we could keep it, and we could be subjects for his kingdom. Apostles and the prophets and those who receive the witness are subjects to the kingdom. We have a dispensation that we have to witness and reach. Just like Yahushua. Just like Yahukanan and Kiefer and, and, and the apostles, Shaul, just like all of them. Right? And those that aren't even mentioned who went out with the witness of Yahushua Mashiach. Because you know what? It's in the witness. Period. It got nothing to do with you. This ain't got nothing to do with me. This is about what you have said to me in the Ruach HaKadosh. Last thing he says, So we see that they could not enter in because of unbelief. Hebrews. Don't you make the mistake of not entering into his kingdom without having received the witness of Yahushua Mashiach. Don't you do that. Don't you do it. Hebrew. Do not cause yourself not to enter in. Because you refuse to receive the witness of Yusha Mashiach. They died in the wilderness. They died in the wilderness. Right? I will purge out the rebels. I will purge out the the rebels, right? I will purge. Let's see what that word purge means in the, in the uh, Strong's H thirteen oh five Hebrew. Barrer. 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 I will purge out to choose to select to take out, right? I will cleanse. I will purge out the rebels. Right? So if he's purging out the rebels, he's purging those things that are out. Rebels. To allow the cleansing of the kingdom to come forth. Right? 
right? He says, to purify, to select, to, to polish, to choose, to purge, to cleanse, right? I will clean out the rebels from among you. This is what he says. He says, and I will clean out from among you the rebels, right? Rebels. Hebrew word. Strong's H, 4775. Marad. 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 Marad, right? To rebel, to revolt. To rebel, to revolt. What are we rebelling against? Receiving the witness of Yahushua Mashiach. Nicodemus was rebelling in. He's like, wait, 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 what you talking about? How can a man, how can a man enter to his mother's womb when he is old? Nah, I don't understand that, Yahushua. Don't make sense to me. Just don't make sense. You know what? Get your stuff all worked up. Listen, I'm telling you what it is. And you should be a teacher of the law and you don't know these things? You're a master, instructor. You don't understand these things? Listen. And I swore he, and whom he swore, that he should not enter in into his rest. But to them that believe not. You ain't getting into the kingdom of you, Lord. Hebrews. Don't get twisted up. Don't get to entertaining stuff that's contrary to what you know that has established you in the witness of you, Shemashiach. Don't get twisted up. Because they're coming a great falling away. Right? You who's talking about purging the rebels from Israel? Yahuwah, I pray that this word that you have given me to give to them would be a blessing, would be spirit and life. Yahuwah, I pray that you would reveal by your basor, your Torah of truth. Reveal, Yahuwah, in the name of Yahushua Mashiach, in faith and in Imunah, that they would receive the witness. Yahuwah, I just pray that your word, your word will go forth and not return unto you void. Yahuwah, Yahuwah, I pray that your word will go forth and not return unto you void. Yahuwah, Yahuwah, I pray. In the name of Yahushua Mashiach, Yahuwah, I pray. I pray, I pray, I pray in the name of Yahushua. Man of Yah called the greatness woman of Yahuwah beautifully and wonderfully made. Hebrews, the third chapter. Right. We're going over to the fourth chapter of Hebrews. Right. Understanding the promise that was made. You got to receive the witness. Point blank period. You've got to receive the witness. Man of Yah, woman of Yah, that I say. Shalom, shalom, and shalom. Torah Garden, speaking the absolute truth. Torah.